What is going on everyone? This is Ninja Geek here, and in this video I want to talk about Infinite Warfare and specifically the supply drop system within Infinite Warfare. Now, I know at the time of me recording this right now, which it could be different for you watching, but it has not been yet confirmed that supply drops are in Infinite Warfare. However, I believe that they truly will be in the game, whether we like it or not, and most people do not like it, and myself included. Of course, we don't want that system in the game, and that is what I'm here to talk about. But the thing about it is, that makes it unusual, is that, of course, Activision is not going to just say, you know what, the community's right, let's take out these supply drops and just leave out everything within the game. That's obviously not going to happen because of the business model that Activision and Infinity Ward and Treyarch and Sledgehammer have now had to take on from Activision's business plan. And I know that it all sucks, but it is what it is, and we have to suck it up and deal with that. So with that said, I would like to talk about supply drops within Infinite Warfare, and of course why they will be making a return. Pretty much confirming that they will be making a return is the fact that Infinite Warfare will have weapon variants. Now these variants are somewhat similar to Advanced Warfare's weapon variants, where you would get a certain different weapon within a supply drop that could be better or even somewhat worse than the already standard weapon that you already have for the default like the default weapon that you want to use however some of these weapon variants are very very powerful and some of them are goofy and funky within infinite warfare but either way whether good or bad that these weapon variants can be within the game we know that infinite warfare is will essentially have weapon variants in them and how else are you going to get weapon variants other than supply drops so there you go the supply drop system is pretty much confirmed in infinite warfare now let me say that by no means have i came up with solutions to fix the supply drop system however i did want to mention drifter's video that he made a couple months back during black ops 3 because of the supply drop system that we have and how people were upset so i'm just going to be basically brushing over the points that he said in that video but i will have a card up there so you can check that out if you did not see that and a link in the description below uh, very, very good and informative video, and I highly suggest that you check it out. But the first thing is that we know that they're going to be in the game, right? We can't really uh, change that. But what I'm trying to do here with this video is try and make Activision not go down the wrong path like they did with Black Ops 3. I'm giving this video as sort of a warning sign to them. I want to tell them that if you do the way that Black Ops 3 did it with the supply drops, you are going to lose even more of your fan base. Now, it may not seem like that because so many people buy these supply drops who are not even on YouTube, like they're just casual players that don't have a clue and they just buy these supply drops, but still, I think that it will make a big difference if we all pitch in and see how this supply drop system is not good overall for the community. So the first thing is to, of course, have a marketplace like, of course, CSGO has. So you can trade, buy, and sell all these types of items that you get within the supply drop system, and of course, I'm not going to go really into detail on all these things that Drifter mentioned in his video, but you know what a marketplace is, uh, it would just be so much better for the supply drop type of system because now you have a way to deal with the things that you don't want or the items that you wasted money on or wasted even time trying to get. You can better yourself by trying to do this better and it's just an overall better system to have a marketplace. Whether you use the marketplace or not, that's totally up to the, the consumer, but having it in there from the start is the way to go with Infinite Warfare and of course... The second point that he mentioned was carry forward items into future COD games. I don't know how that would go. I mean, of course, they're probably not going to carry items from Black Ops 3 into Infinite Warfare. I just really don't see that happening. But from Infinite Warfare, maybe they could be carried into Sledgehammer's next game because of the of what they have to do to develop it. Maybe they've been developing this. Who knows? Of course, we don't know with Activision about what they're going to do. But I feel that carrying forward items, of course, leaves you with a sense that you, if you got bought some COD points in Black Ops 3 and spent money on it, and if they were to be able to be carried over into Infinite Warfare, you would still be able to use the weapons that you paid for, instead of like, if you think of uh, Advanced Warfare, and you bought some weapon variants from the Supply Drop system, or got them in the Supply Drop system, now you really can't do anything with it. It's over. Advanced Warfare's life cycle is over, and that's it. So, carrying forward items is a very good system, 
But his third option, which I actually do enjoy, some people probably would not like this, but if you keep the supply drop system as they are, and all players get free DLC, meaning like all of the multiplayer maps that come out for Infinite Warfare are free, as well as the zombies in Spaceland... Uh, game mode, you would get all that for free. I wouldn't mind that because yes, the supply drop system wouldn't be, you know, keeping the supply drop system as it is, as you think of it right now, it's still broken, but at the same time, you would get something for free. There would be no need of spending $50 for a season pass. Everyone would just get it for free. And I think that that would be good, especially since the other six COD 4 uh, Modern Warfare Remastered multiplayer maps are coming in December. Why can't they just make the maps free and put all their time into the supply drop system if they're going to have this supply drop system in the game, put all their time and effort into trying to make that, you know, be able to, uh, I guess, say, like, more people would spend more money on that, and then just give out free DLC, as in maps and uh, the zombies in Spaceland, so I, I like that idea as well, and... Also, another thing for tip number four is to make the rare items much more common. So, basically, of course, you know, make the weapons easier to get in the supply drops. Just, a you know, what I'm saying. I'm not saying, like, every person needs to get them as soon as they open a supply drop. But the way they are right now, the odds are really in nobody's favor. Now, all of these points, like I said, I do want to mention are clearly from Drifter's video. I did not make this up. I'm not... Uh, I'm not trying to come out here and try and make my own personal video stealing content. I really just wanted to go over these points again to bring up this topic to Activision because of the way that Infinite Warfare tends to be leading. And if weapon variants were not announced for Infinite Warfare, I honestly probably would not have made this video. But since they are, and we know how the past is with supply drops and how are we going to get these weapon variants, it's obviously they're probably going to have supply drops in Infinite Warfare. My honest to God, 100% best chance guess they will. And I just want it to be done right. That is essentially why I decided to make this video. You can let me know any thoughts you have down below. Maybe any other suggestions that we can all come up with as a community to make the supply drop system better. And again, Activision, just a red warning flag. Please do not put the same supply drop system that we have in Black Ops 3 in Infinite Warfare because it is broken the way it is right now. Make improvements like you do to Call of Duty every single year, whether for good or bad. Some of the improvements, I mean, even from the little changes that Call of Duty has had over the past to the big changes, you have made changes. So you can definitely make some changes to your business market system and supply drop system within Call of Duty. But that's it for this video. Of course, I'll see you on the next one. This is Ninja Geek. I'm out. And peace. Excellent work. Capcom, party's over. Nuclear site.